One of the first thing that you should do right after installing your Ubuntu virtual machine is install guest additions. So guest addition is a bunch of software that will allow you to have better video resolution, better display and the mouse will work better. You can also copy and paste things from your host to your guest machine. So yeah, it is going to help you a lot. So I highly recommend installing this guest edition software. Now I'm starting my Ubuntu virtual machine and this is right after installation. If you have not installed Ubuntu yet or you want to know how to install that, I have another video where I showed you how to install Ubuntu on a virtual machine. I'm going to link that in the description box. Now I'm changing the video resolution a little bit better so you can see the text because it's too small now. Okay. All right. Now when you are inside your VM, on the left hand side, you should see this menu. So file, machine, view, input, devices and help. If you cannot see that, you might be in the full screen mode. So you have to exit out of full screen using right control plus C. So right control plus C and you will be able to see this menu. Anyway, now let's click on devices and select the last option, insert guest editions CD image. And now we have this CD mounted. You can see VBOX GA. We can directly click on that CD and we are inside that CD now. After that, you right click here and select open in terminal. Awesome. And just so you know, if even if you have guest edition installed already, it doesn't hurt you to do it again. So if you're unsure whether that has been done or not, uh, you can just do it anyway. That should be fine. Now we are inside that uh, CD and let's find out the list of files using the command ls. And we can see there are a bunch of tools here. Now this is a Linux VM and we should install the VirtualBox guest edition for Linux. And you have uh, things for Windows and AMD software. For us, we want to use the Linux edition, which is right here. So we do that by dot slash vbox, then Linux editions dot run. And it's that simple. So dot slash that file name and then enter. Now it says the program must be run with admin privileges, of course, so we got to do sudo. So I'm going to go back and do sudo run. Enter your password. Now some of these messages it might look, uh, it's they are not working until you restart it, so that's fine. Uh, guest additions has been done. What we got to do is just restart the VM. So you close everything off. We are successful. Uh, just go here and restart the VM. So if you do restart, it's going to restart your computer and you will be able to do all those things that I mentioned. So better copy paste, better uh, video resolution, things like those. Thank you and please let me know in the comment section if you face any issues, I'll help you out and please like and subscribe if you found the video helpful.